Okay, so good morning guys. So for this week, uh, we are going to talk all about uh, inductive and uh, deductive reasoning as part of our writing proofs. So it is based on most essential learning competencies uh, and pivot collaborators on uh, self-learning uh, modules. So we said that reasoning is part uh, and uh, partial of daily life. There is an involved reasoning in choosing which music to play because we consider the genre, singer, air, lyrics. There is also reasoning involved in the way we choose which route to take in going to school, maybe because it is the shortest and the fastest route, the most convenient, the safest, or because a friend's house is along the way. In design, deciding to do certain things, our decision is grounded in reasons. So therefore, drawing a conclusion from events, experience, and logical reasons are also part of scientific methods. Among scientists and mathematicians, in order to formulate a general view, and greater knowledge. In this module, you will be taught how to make a sound and logical conclusion from a specific or uh, let's say general reasons. Okay? So, according to our self-learning module, that reasoning is a logical way of thinking. Sometimes you base your reasoning from different data gathered or from the given arguments, which is uh, correct, uh, and that is important also. To reason out uh, means to give conclusion or proof to establish a fact or the truth or a statement. So in our previous lesson, uh, we learned uh, the two parts of conditional statement, which is the hypothesis and the conclusion you can write a conditional statement in a form of you can use p to represent the hypothesis and q for the conclusion so the conditional statement if p then q so in symbol it, it is read as P implies Q. So the one-sided arrow is read as implies. So for example, if P then Q or this one, okay? The one-sided arrow. So if the stars can be seen in the sky, then the moon shines bright. Okay? So therefore... If both the conditional and converse statements are true, then the biconditional can be written symbolically. Okay? So, the two uh, both uh, lines are a row. So, if we then Q and Q, then P or P, if P, if, and only if Q. So, yun po yung tinatawag nating biconditional uh, statements okay for example okay so right uh, statement is x is equal to negative 5 and uh, the absolute value of x is equal to 5 absolute value down ng x so therefore our solution if x is equal to negative 5 then the absolute value of x is equal to 5 and we have we can say that uh, kapag binaligtad natin q implies p tin tinatawag nating uh, inverse statement uh, okay so if the absolute value of x is equal to 5 then x is equal to negative 5 so therefore so in our biconditional statement x is equal to negative 5 if and only if the absolute value of x is equal to 5. And this is false statement. Since it is 
not only negative 5 with absolute value of 5, but also positive 5. Take note of that, ha? So, this is a false uh, statement. Kasi, ang, ab ang absolute value of x ay hindi lang 5. It can be negative 5. Okay? Another one. So, the given statement is, points A, B, C are coplanar points. So, ang ating hypothesis, ang ating conclusion, points A, B, C are on the same plane. Since they are coplanar points, so, they are on the same planes. So, therefore, if points A, B, and C are on the same plane, then points A, B, and C are coplanar. So, that is correct. Uh, ito yung tinatawag natin conditional statements. Then, binaligtad natin the inverse uh, statement. If points A, B, and C are coplanar, planar doon sila, then points A, B, and C are on the same plane, which is correct. Ano? So, therefore, points A, B, and C are coplanar if and only if points A, B, and C are on the same planes. So, that is true. Kasi sila lahat ay nasa iisang plane lamang. Ano? They are on the same plane. So, therefore, they are coplanar. Okay. So, therefore, the biconditional statement is true. So, for our learning test 1, you are going to do the following statements. So, for example, the statement is it is an eagle. It's a bird. So, therefore, you are going to write it in the conditional statement. If it is an eagle, then it is a bird. Then, public turn right natin. If it is a bird, then it is an eagle. Okay? Then, if it is an eagle, if and only if it is a bird. So, mga ganon. Are all statements true? If not, give a counter example. So, that is for our learning Task 1. Okay? Now, let us proceed to our discussions. So, most people base their conclusions on patterns they observe or from given statements. So, for example, ito yung pattern natin. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. And 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So, what can you observe about the addends? And what, how about the sum? So, all the addends are add numbers, as you can see. Add numbers, di ba? And all the sum are even number. So, yun lang yung ating nakikita ng situation regarding on this uh, statement. Ano? So, yun lang. So, all the addends are odd numbers and all the sum are even. So, we can say that the conclusion or conjecture is uh, adding two odd numbers, the sum is even number. Which is correct naman. Uh, that is true. Kasi nakikita natin, based on our example, if we add two odd numbers, the sum is even number. Okay? Another one. So, yung tinatawag natin, uh, point E is on a line M. Line M lies on plane Q. So, the conclusion is, point E is on plane Q. Since nasa plane Q siya, so therefore, yung line, uh, point E ay nadun din sa plane Q. So, these examples are form of inductive reasoning. Okay. So, na na-discuss na rin natin yan nung tayo ay grade 7, yung inductive reasoning. Then, another type of uh, uh, reasoning is deductive, which uses box definitions and accepted properties in a logical order to write uh, logical arguments. So, when we say logical arguments, includes at least one premise and the conclusion. Then, the premise must be valid to have uh, valid conclusion at uh, meron din tayong tinatawag sa sa in deductive reasoning na two laws law of detachment and law of syllogism okay 
So, yun. Before we proceed to that, ha. So, according to our uh, self-learning module, that uh, another definition for uh, inductive reasoning, so it gathers in specific information, usually through observation, measurement, uh, formulate conjectures, and then draw generalization or conclusion based on the carefully gathered information. So, so nakikita natin dun sa mga pattern, di ba? So, may, we can create uh, a conclusion from that. So, for example, in the sequence 10, 20, 30, the next time is 40. So, as you can see, kasi uh, it increases by 10 lamang. So, therefore, we can conclude that the next term is 40. Okay? Another one. John, a math challenger, is good in mathematics. Joan, Joss, and Bea, who are also math challengers, are good in mathematics. So, therefore, all math challengers are good in mathematics. Okay? Then, another one. The chair in the living room is red. So, therefore, if the chair in the living room is red, the chair in the dining room is red. So, therefore, the color of the chairs in the house is red. Okay? So, we can conclude that. Okay? So, yan. Yan ang tinatawag nating mga inductive reasoning. Okay? And then, when we say deductive reasoning, it uses acceptable facts, proven theorem as proof to draw a specific uh, situation. For example, Sally does not drink soft drinks. So, if Sally does not drink soft drinks, then it follows that she does not uh, drink cola. Kasi cola is a soft drink. Uh, diba? All numbers ending in 0 or 5 are divisible by 5. So, if all numbers endings in 0 or 5 are divisible by 5, therefore, we can say uh, number 35 ends with 5. Uh, it must be divisible by 5. Diba? Right angles ninety measure 90 degrees. If angle A is a right angle, therefore, angle A measures 90 degrees. Kasi, ang sabi nga natin, right angle daw ay 90 degrees. Okay? Then, all math mathematics challenge uh, contestant uh, are good in mathematics. Jim, Jane, and Jillian are math challenge contestants. Therefore, Jim, Jane, and Jillian are good in mathematics too. Okay? So, yan. Yan lang yung ating mga ilang example ah, pag ah, ginamit natin yung inductive at ah, deductive ah, reasoning. Diba? Napakadali lang niya. Okay? So, yun yung ginagamitan natin ng law of detachment and law of syllogism. Okay. So, balikan natin yung law of ah, detachment. So, in the law of detachment, ah, if P, if P implies Q is a true conditional statement, P is true and Q is true. So, for example, CJ knows that if he will not study his module in math a day before the test, he will not, he will not get a good score in the test. CJ did not study his module in math today, so he concludes that he will not get a good score for tomorrow's test. Okay? So, mga ganun lang. So, therefore, he will not get a good score in the test. Okay? So, yeah. Another example. So, if we, then Q, if N is an, an odd number, then the remainder is 1. Odd number daw eh, di ba? When divided by 2. 17 is an odd number. Therefore, the remainder is 1 when 17 is divided by 2. Okay? 
So yun. So that is uh, law of uh, detachment. Then this time, let us uh, proceed to another law, which is law of syllogism, which is also known as reasoning by transitivity. It has two premises, one major, and the second is a minor premise, which leads both to either valid or invalid conclusion. Okay, so yun yung law of syllogism. Okay, so for example, ito yung, uh, ito yung tatlong statement. Ha? Ano, tatlong statement. Then, ha? yung first statement, ha? kailangan siya ay mag-implies dun sa ating ha? last statement. So, so according to that, if P implies Q and Q implies R are true conditional statements, then P implies R. So, as you can see, yung P to R na. Okay, so for example, Joy visited Bicol. She will spend a day in Albay. So therefore, Joy visited Bicol. She will visit Kagrawa or Kagzawa ruins. Okay, if boy if Joy visits Bicol, then she will visit Kagzawa ruins. So ito yung ating magiging conclusion. So, the conclusion is valid since the two premises are true. Kasi yung dalawang iyon ay parehong tunay. Okay? Another one. If you eat vegetable, then you will, you become healthy. So, that's our major premise. If you become healthy, then you will not get sick. So, that is our minor premise. So, therefore... If you eat vegetable, then you will not get uh, sick. So, that is our uh, conclusion. So, P implies R. So, once again, if you eat vegetable, then you will not get uh, sick. So, from P to R. Okay? So, yeah. Another example. If it is winter, then you will wear a wool sweater. So, that's our major premise. So, the minor premise, yung wool sweater naman, if you wear a wool sweater, so yon, then you are a sheep. Hmm? You are a sheep. So, that is our minor premise. So, therefore, our conclusion, if it is a winter, then you are a sheep. So, tunay ba yon? So, that is not true. That is not uh, valid since you are not a sheep. Okay? Also, the original statements are not true, specifically the second statement, unless you are a sheep. Okay? So, yan. Ano ba yung sheep? Diba yun yung tupa na tinatawag na? Okay? Another one. All animals have four legs. So, that is our major premise. Snake is an animal. Okay, so masasabi na natin na ang snake has four legs. So, no. Ano? The conclusion is invalid since the major premise is wrong. So, not all animals have four legs. Take note of that. Okay? So, yun lang po yung ating uh, ibigay, pahihwating ng ating uh, what we call this inductive and uh, deductive reasoning. Okay, so let us now proceed to our so iwanan muna natin yung indirect and direct proof. So tingnan natin yung ating learning task 2. So sa learning task 2 kagaya ng ating example kanina, so you can make the conclusion the based on the following patterns. Okay, so yan. Then you use the law of detachment. Yan. Use the law of syllogism. Okay. So that is for our learning task 2. Okay. So hoping na nakatulong itong ating uh, video para sa pag-identify ng conclusion using the uh, 
indirect are deductive and inductive reasoning. Okay, so tingnan naman natin itong ating another sample dito. Okay, so let us uh, answer this one. Complementary angles are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. A, angle A and angle B are complementary. So therefore, the sum of angle A and angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Take note of that, ha? Okay, number 2. In the sequence uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, the next number is, very good, 15, 1, 5, ang ating uh, next number. Since the pattern is increasing by uh, 3, okay? Number 3, all rectangles uh, have congruent diagonals. A square is a rectangle. Therefore, Therefore, a square is a have a congruent uh, diagonals. Okay? So, yan. Number 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. The sum of the first e five even numbers is. What is the sum of five even numbers? So, therefore, ang ating sunod dito ay 10. So, therefore, 10 plus 8, 18. 24, 24, 28, 30. So, the sum. The sum of the first five even number is 30. Okay? Or ganun lang. A pentagon is a polygon with five sides. Polygon A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. Therefore, A, B, C, D, E is a pentagon. Okay? So, a pentagon is is a polygon with five sides. Okay? So, masasabi natin na ang ABCDE is or has five sides. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Okay? So, another one. Dito naman, identify lang po natin kung siya ay inductive error deductive reasoning. So, today, today, some notices that the city alarm sounds at 9 p.m. The next day of the same time, she notices that the city alarm sound again. She remembers that the city alarm did not, did sound at the same time of the other day. Then, she concludes that the city alarm sounds every 9 p.m. Is it inductive? or deductive. Very good. That is inductive reasoning. Kasi every 9pm ay nag-alarm nag talaga yung city. Okay? No foreigner can be elected senator in, a, in our country. Peter is a foreigner. So yun daw. Peter is a foreigner. Therefore, Peter cannot be elected senator in our country. And since, as you can, as, as you notice, we have three statements, P, Q, and R. So, therefore, that is induct or deductive reasoning. Okay, so, ganun lang po siya. Kadali, kung paano natin ma-identify ang inductive at deductive reasoning. So, hoping po na nakatulong itong ating video para po sa... Uh, sa ating week 8 ng ating panuruan ng school year 2020 to 2021. Okay, so thank you. So, please subscribe our UIT channel and click the notification bell.